Have you ever wondered if narcissism is just about self-love or if there's more to this psychological concept? Well, it's time to debunk a common myth. Narcissism isn't merely a fascination with one's reflection in the mirror, nor is it just an inflated sense of self-worth. It's an intricate psychological construct, intricately woven into the fabric of our personalities. Like a chameleon, narcissism takes on different forms and hues. It's not a one-size-fits-all label that we can slap onto someone who seems a bit too self-obsessed. From the grandiose types who strut around like peacocks, to the vulnerable ones who hide behind a facade of superiority, the spectrum of narcissism is vast and varied. But don't be daunted. We're about to embark on a journey into the world of narcissism, exploring its many faces and understanding the intricate nuances that define each type. So buckle up, folks. Let's dive deeper into this fascinating subject and uncover the different faces of narcissism. Firstly, meet the grandiose narcissist, the type that most people are familiar with. This form of narcissism is overt, unapologetic, and easy to spot. Think of someone who's characterized by an overwhelming sense of arrogance and superiority. They exude an air of grandeur, preoccupied with notions of power, success, and dominance. Their world is a stage, and they are its shining star. But beneath their flamboyant exterior, there's a striking lack of empathy. They often struggle to connect with the feelings and needs of others, making them appear cold and detached. This lack of empathy also fuels their manipulative behaviors. They will twist situations to their advantage, without giving a second thought to the impact on those around them. Yes, grandiose narcissists can be charming, charismatic, and incredibly persuasive. However, their lack of empathy, their constant pursuit of power, and their manipulative tendencies can make relationships with them challenging. Now, let's introduce the vulnerable narcissist, a type that is less well-known but equally impactful. Unlike their grandiose counterparts, vulnerable narcissists are often covert, lurking in the shadows of their own insecurities. They are characterized by a heightened hypersensitivity, a robust defensiveness, and a tendency towards social withdrawal. This type of narcissist is like a porcupine, bristling at the slightest hint of criticism or perceived slight. Their world is a battlefield of perceived threats and they are the perennial victims. A vulnerable narcissist often harbors deep-seated feelings of inadequacy, feeling perpetually overshadowed and undervalued. This can lead to dramatic mood swings and bouts of depression, making their emotional landscape as unpredictable as a stormy sea. While vulnerable narcissists may appear less harmful on the surface, their emotional unpredictability can create a turbulent relationship dynamic. Remember, a rose with thorns is still a rose, but it's wise to wear gloves when handling it. Now that we've met the two main types of narcissists, let's summarize what we've learned. Grandiose narcissists, remember, are typically outgoing, crave attention, and often feel superior to others. Their exaggerated sense of self-importance can be challenging in relationships, making it difficult for their partners to feel valued or heard. On the other hand, vulnerable narcissists might not be as outwardly confident. They are often deeply insecure, seeking validation and reassurance from others. This constant need for approval can be taxing in relationships, leading to a cycle of emotional highs and lows. So whether it's the grandiose narcissist who dominates conversations or the vulnerable narcissist who constantly needs reassurance, dealing with these personalities can be challenging. But by recognizing these traits, we can better understand their behaviors and manage our interactions with them. Remember, understanding the different types of narcissism can equip us better to navigate relationships with such individuals. In conclusion, narcissism is not a one-size-fits-all concept. The landscape of narcissism is as diverse as humanity itself, with no two narcissists being the same. It's crucial to remember that grandiose narcissists, with their inflated self-image, and vulnerable narcissists, with their fragile self-esteem, are just two facets of a complex psychological phenomenon. The key to navigating this terrain is understanding and empathy. It's about recognizing the signs, acknowledging the impact and taking the necessary steps to protect your emotional well-being. Setting boundaries is paramount, whether that's limiting your exposure or cutting ties completely. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your mental health. In more severe cases, seeking professional help can be a lifeline. Therapists and psychologists are well-equipped to provide guidance and support, helping you untangle the web of narcissistic behavior. Understanding narcissism in its various forms can help us foster healthier relationships and personal well-being.